Good evening, and welcome to the second of three concerts in the UWL uh, Choral Series this week, with the concert choir performing our program, uh, Lift Every Voice. I'm Chris Hathaway, the Director of Choral Studies here at UWL, and we're so excited that you have decided to tune in. Uh, this concert is themed with the idea of equity and inclusion uh, through peace, understanding, and love. The concert begins right where the treble chorus left off on Tuesday with a song about peace with Mendelssohn's Verleihungs Frieden. Uh, we then move in to three songs centered around Latin America. The first, a very fun Puerto Rican guaracha arranged for choir by Guario Nex Morales Matos. Uh, but then we move into a second song that's in English, uh, composed with the final words uh, of a native Mexican woman and human rights activist Elvira Ajiano. Uh, who was torn away from her eight-year-old son uh, in 2007 by Immigration and Customs Enforcement and then deported. Uh, the final of the three is a beautiful piece by Mexican composer Julio Morales uh, using the text Dos Cuerpos, which is a poem by Octavio Paz. Uh, after that, we'll move into a, a wonderful piece called Sing Me to Heaven, a, a piece that talks about the importance of music and how no matter what the situation or what culture you were in, uh, there's always an importance and, and a reason uh, for music. Uh, we then move into our uh, two, two really powerful pieces uh, relating to the black community. The first, Say Her Name, a piece written in response to the movement of the same title, hashtag Say Her Name, uh, to fight police brutality against black women. Uh, and then uh, an arrangement of Lift Every Voice and Sing, which was originally uh, written as a poem uh, for Abraham Lincoln uh, commemorating his birthday, uh, but then was later put to music. And uh, in 1919, the NAACP uh, took on the piece and adopted it as the Black National Anthem. Uh, the text of this piece brings forward some really important messages uh, to, to consider, including just staying hopeful and fighting injustice and just an overall knowledge of a lesser represented side of history. Uh, we'll then close our concert uh, with a gorgeous piece about unconditional love uh, with Elaine Hagenberg's O oh Love. Uh, this program, uh, with text and translations, is included uh, in the comments um, and above in the description for your reference. And also in this concert, as you will soon see, uh, we have a few students in concert choir uh, who are going to speak just for a couple of minutes on their experience during a pandemic and how, how no pandemic is going to keep us uh, from making music. Uh, so let's get to it. I hope you enjoy the UWL concert Choir and our program, Lift Every Voice.
Hello, my name is Cameron Caviola, and I am a first year student in the Concert Choir. This year has uh, definitely been interesting in terms of music. And even with the very weird limitations that were thrown at us, I still think this was a very fun and successful year. Our next piece is Cumbanchero by Rafael Hernandez Marin. The song is a Spanish piece about a party, and that one person being deemed the life of the party, showing up and ultimately making it better. Now, we didn't really have any parties in our concert choir, but I still like to think of Mr. Hathaway as that life of our concert. He always made jokes and overall made lifted our spirits and kept the year a lot more positive in what could have been a very daunting situation. I'm looking forward to the next years to come in this concert choir. So, without further ado, Here's Kumbanchero.
friends and family. My name is Carlin Davis and I'm a biology major. This is my second year in our UWL concert choir and I am so grateful for this opportunity to be speaking to you tonight. Thank you so much for tuning into our concert. We really appreciate it. I'm the secretary for our concert choir and I remember feeling less than optimistic about choir this year, let alone this semester. How do we keep students and faculty safe without sucking all the fun and connection to music out of choir? When us choir officers and Dr. Hathaway met together on Zoom before the school year started to discuss these possible solutions to several of these sorts of problems surrounding in-person choir, we knew that this year was going to be a case of trial and error. There would be this constant state of trying things, making changes and accommodations in an effort to make choir better. Being in person at all was a start. Many of us felt relieved to be singing in the same room again, which is the sort of thing that I used to take for granted pre-COVID. Singing six feet apart was important for being safe, but it challenged us to sing out and listen for others because now it's a lot harder to tell if you're singing all together unless you're doing those things. One of the more complicated changes came with the issue of building community. A feeling of belonging is so important to choir because we make better music and we have a better experience when we can make those connections with others. In effort to reconcile this issue, the other officers and I decided that we'd come up with these safe activities for all of us to do every other Friday during our break in choir. And we were hoping that this would bring that fun element back. And luckily, I believe it has. We had a breakthrough and it's really made choir so much more enjoyable for everyone. I'm fortunate enough to be able to say that I look forward to going to choir every day because of all of them. Classes under my major keep me busy, but taking choir with them keeps me grounded, and I'm really happy I'm here.
Hi there, my name is Hannah Friesner and I am a sophomore choral music education major here at UWL. Choir has been a huge part of my life for pretty much as long as I can remember and music has helped me through a lot of difficult times in my life. Music has this extraordinary power to bring people together and no matter what you may be going through, there's always a song that can make you feel a little less alone. And I think choral music brings this to another level as people from all different backgrounds come together to create beautiful music. It can be very easy to feel alone in this world, especially during this past year, but participating in choir creates a feeling of togetherness that not even a pandemic can take away.
everybody. My name is Hunter Adams, and I'm a sophomore finance major here at UWL. This is my second year in the concert choir, so I've been able to see what it's like before and after the pandemic of seeing in the college level choir, which has been really interesting. I'll say it's been pretty remarkable to see that even after months and months of not being able to get together and sing and being trapped at home, we're still able to get together and put together the caliber, caliber of the concert that we're performing today, um, so similar to what it was like before the pandemic. So I'm really appreciative of the opportunity to share this music with you. The last song we're performing tonight is a piece called Oh Love, which has touched many of our choir members in different ways. So the lyrics and text of this piece can be interpreted um, a little bit differently by each of our members, but we kind of all pull out of it that it has to do with the love that we experience from friends or family members, or what I feel is the unconditional and unescapable love of Christ for which the song is written about. Regardless of how you interpret it, it is truly a touching piece to end the concert on. I want to thank you just one last time for taking the time to come support us and watch our virtual concert. I hope that some of our music was able to resonate with you. That being said, please enjoy my favorite and our final piece, which is a love.